send payments electronically with the online bill pay feature new to iBank5. Using online bill pay requires your bank to support direct download, also known as OFX or Direct Connect. IGG software does not charge for direct downloads or bill pay, but your institution may require a separate enrollment and charge a monthly fee for either or both of these services. Ask your financial institution about availability and any requirements they may have to sign up for third-party bill pay. Once you've signed up and obtained your login details, you're ready to configure your iBank accounts for direct download. To set up a new account, click the plus button on the toolbar and choose Add Account. Then select the option for an account held at a financial institution. To add bill pay to an existing account that is not configured for online access, select the account in the source list and choose Set Up Online Access from the account menu. In either case, when iBank prompts you for the name of your bank, start typing the name of the institution in the search field to narrow the results. Select the bank and click Next. Choose Direct Download Bill Pay option and click Next. I'll log in to my bank with the info provided by them. My account is now set up for direct download and ready for online bill pay. To pay a bill, click the Pay Online button on the toolbar or choose Tools Send Online Payment. The Bill Pay Assistant will appear. The next screen will prompt you to enter payment details. You can view a list of all known payees by pressing the down arrow key before you begin typing a name. Start typing the name of the person or company you want to pay. iBank will automatically suggest names based on your transaction templates. As you're typing, a drop-down list will appear showing the payees that match what you're typing. Use the mouse to click one of the names or use the arrow keys to select one and then press the tab or return key. iBank will fill in several of the payment details category, amount, and note based on the template associated with that payee. These fields will be shaded yellow as a result. If you don't want to accept a suggestion, simply ignore it and continue typing. Next, enter a due date for the payment. By default, iBank shows you the earliest date for which your bank can guarantee delivery. As long as you enter a date that is no earlier than the default, iBank will ensure that the payment is received on or before the date you enter. Enter a category for the transaction, or click the Add Split button to split the transaction and assign multiple categories. Enter the payment amount or any notes you want to be submitted with the payment, and click Continue to proceed. If this is the first time you're sending a payment to the payee you entered, iBank will show you this screen to gather details for the payee. Fill in the payee's address and phone number. Payments can be made to payees with U.S. addresses only. If you're sending payment to a business that requires you to identify yourself using an account number, enter it in the space provided. Account numbers are typically found on bills and invoices. If no account number is required, enter cash instead. The next time you submit a payment for the same payee, iBank will load the payee details automatically. Click Continue to proceed. Next, iBank will show you a preview of the payment. Take a moment to review the details and make sure they're correct. You can type in a different account number if necessary, or click the Edit button to make other changes. Once you have the payment configured properly, click Submit to connect to your bank and submit the payment. iBank will prompt you to enter your login details for your financial institution. You must log in each time you submit a payment for security. Once you log in successfully, iBank will submit the payment and show you the result. If there's a problem, iBank will give you the option to correct it and try again. If the payment is accepted, iBank will tell you and let you choose whether to make another payment or simply close the assistant. You can also use iBank to submit payments for upcoming scheduled transactions in BillPay enabled accounts. To view your upcoming scheduled transactions, choose Tools Confirm Scheduled Transactions. For any transactions you want to pay online, make sure they are scheduled to post to accounts that have BillPay enabled. Then edit their details to make sure the due dates, payees, categories, amounts, and notes are correct. Select a transaction or command click to select more than one, then click the Pay Online button to open the Bill Pay Assistant. Once a payment has been accepted by your bank, iBank will record a transaction in the relevant account with its date set to the expected date of payment and its status set to Uncleared. To check the status of your payment, select 
payments in the Manage section of the source list. A list of payments that you sent using online bill pay will appear to the right. Each payment shows its payee, due date, amount, and current status. To refresh the status of your payments, click the Update button on the toolbar or choose File, Update Everything iBank will connect to your bank online and get the current status for each of the payments. If the status of a payment changes from processing to paid, iBank will automatically mark the corresponding transaction in your account cleared. If the status changes to insufficient funds or failed, the transaction in your account will be deleted. While a payment is still processing, iBank will show a cancel button next to its status in the list. Click this button to send a cancellation request to your bank. For more information on this topic, search the iBank help documents for online bill pay.